So be happy. Just do your best and leave the rest in the hands of Allah. No matter what. You lost your job. You lost this. You lost that. Take it in your stride. Alhamdulillah. You'll have a happier home. You'll have a happier family. People are stressed. You know what? They can't show that stress to the people they work with because they're big guys there. They want to impress the girls at work. So they don't show them any bad habits. Nothing. But you go home. First thing. You start swearing, you start screaming, you start shouting, you start showing your real self. Subhanallah, subhanallah. That's why the Prophet says, you know who's the best person? The one who's best to his family members, always the best. You know why? That person has shown the family that when I'm upset, I'm still a good guy. When I'm angry, I'm still a good guy. When I'm hungry, I'm still a good guy. When I've suffered a bad day, I'm still a good guy. When I've suffered a loss, I'm still a good guy. And I'm always a good guy. Then you're really a good guy. Subhanallah. But if you're a good guy outside the home and when you come back home, then you're not a good guy at all. Who knows better what type of a person you are? Those at home. So that's the reason why the Prophet ﷺ tells us, watch who you are. You want to really know who a man is, go ask his wife. You want to really know who a woman is, ask the husband or ask the family members. If they're honest enough, they'll tell you the truth. May Allah protect us. Be honest, be upright. You lose a deal because of your honesty, no problem. Allah will give you barakah, barakah in it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us barakah. The meaning of barakah is blessings in simple English. You achieve blessings. What's the meaning of blessings? You have that contentment within you. You are delighted with the little that Allah's given you because so much has been achieved with that little Allah gave you rather than having the millions and the billions and you can't even see your left from your right. You're not even happy. You don't even know pillar to post. Blessings are snatched away when sins are committed. Remember that you have the best spouse, the best person Allah chose for you as a husband or as a wife. You cannot see it because you know what? You're involved in other sins. So you're blinded, blinded by whom? By shaitan. Your home is no longer happy because your relationship with Allah is weak. Your relationship with shaitan has become strong. Your relationship with shaitan becomes strong. You become blind. What happens to the blindness? The best wife on earth. I don't want to say, but perhaps I should. Should I? People would die to be married to your wife and you're still alive. <laughs> May Allah grant us ease. You understand what I mean? People would say, how lucky is this guy? Wow. The, the sisters will say, this guy's got a really good husband, uh, wife. And you know what? We can't see that. We're blinded because there's some sin happening. Either there's haram income there. Either there's haram relationships there, either there's haram food there, either there's something wrong happening there, either there's no salah, there's no connection with Allah. So the coolness of the eyes will not be achieved because the heat of the sin has overtaken that coolness. This is why I started off by saying point number one, develop your relationship with Allah. People think, ah, oh, but that point, you know, everyone just talks about it. I'm being honest. The owner of the solution is Allah. People across the globe. I've had the opportunity of communicating and interacting with some non-Muslims who are very, very famous on earth. And they have told me we have no contentment. We're looking for happiness. You know what keeps them ticking, clicking, some of them. The drugs, the alcohol, the intoxicants, the dirty life, the attention, etc. Not at all. A true believer knows that that is very temporary and very fake. It has a heat to it that would add to the flame rather than extinguish it.